Right, I am back in Scotland and the Westerwood Golf Course near Glasgow. They've set me a bit of a challenge and the first one is, how am I going to stay dry? Today sees the return of Man vs Golf Hole Challenge, but this year it's with a bit of a twist. Now we'll take a good look at the 18 holes, but specifically three of them for today's challenge of Man vs Golf. They are holes 8, 9 and 10. I get shots on two of those, but on the final one, which is where the twist comes in, I do not receive a shot. So very briefly, the rules are simple. It's a three hole challenge. It's me versus the stroke index on the card. But the twist this year round is that the final hole counts for triple points. And what that means is a relevance of the results on holes one and two. We'll be going down the wire. I've really got no excuses. I've got a few practice holes in here early this morning after what was a great night's sleep in my hotel room. I'm gonna finish off a couple of holes of the warm up, off to get some breakfast next. And then it's when the main event starts at hole eight. Why am I hitting the ball left? Bounce. And that challenge starts on the 8th and it is 360 yards, it's stroke index 2, it really looks a decent golf hole. The question is, can I get off to a winning start? Right, so from a strategy perspective, it's very tight and bottleneck down the right hand side. I've got a bit of a left to right shot as you well know, so I'm going to take the ball over those two fir trees there that sit on the mound. If it stays left, from what I can read on the map, I'm on the fairway of the ninth, and if I cut it back, which I'll be trying to do, I might be somewhere near that fairway. But if I go down the middle of the fairway, it might cut, I could be on the railway line. That's the plan at least. Well, it stayed left, and uh, if my map reading skills are correct, we should be on the ninth fairway, and I reckon that could be a decent angle in. But oh, you know what, as I said, it didn't turn out too bad. The ninth fairway starts just a bit further up there, so we are in a first cut, I suppose, but it's not a bad angle in. I've got 153. Um, I think we've got to stay left. We don't want to go right is the main thing. Looks to be more trouble down that right-hand side. I've got seven iron. Thinned it basically. Um, not the best of shots. We're down there, I don't know. We've left it away short and I've still got a chip and a put to make par. The good news is this is stroke index two, by the way. So at least I'm getting a shot. Wow, oh my word. Well, you can see back there, but the mound in front of this pin is ridiculous. That looked good when I played it, and we just fell off this slope. An incredible, uh, I can't imagine how that might be in the summer. I'm actually glad the greens are wet. Right, so this is a putt for the win. Don't forget, we've got two for the half. So I have to be firm. I think he's got it. You see, the thing is, if the pink chipper doesn't do it, then the lab mez putter always manages to save me. That was a good par, that wasn't it? Right, so that's me one up versus Westerwood. We're going to take on the ninth, which is basically back up where we've just come from. Um, now, we haven't got as much room to... Uh, Make that same thing that we did last time round, which was effectively bail out down the left. But I'm still going to go with the two trees. I think they were two that I aimed out off the uh, eighth tee. And we'll see if we can get somewhere around there. Again, looking for a little bit of cut though. I 
Ah, I mean, it's, uh, it was a decent enough drive. I aimed at the two trees, but I'm just not cutting the ball at the minute. If anything, it moves slightly towards that left-hand side. Uh, I think we should be okay. We're going to be in the rough. We've got an uphill second shot, and uh, well, we'll see what uh, faces us when we get there. Not the best tee shot, and this rain's not stopping. Right, okay, so I have bailed out onto that left-hand fairway. Uh, 150 into the flag, which I can only see the tip of. Right, so and we're all uphill. I brought um, I brought a seven iron. Let me just get this shot tracer set up for you. I bought seven iron and eight. It might have been that I needed six because don't forget this is all uphill. Right. Okay, that's a really good strike. Turn a little bit. Well, we're up there somewhere. I can't see it, but uh, happy with that. That's an interesting golf hole, you know, because there's a big ravine there, which I couldn't see from where I played. Um, it's quite wide as well, so. Right, I've bought putter and I've bought chipper. This is all uphill um, and the greens are extremely wet. I can't believe how much rain they've had here overnight. Uh, so the choice is chipper. Let's see if we can skid one up to the hole. Get up there. Ah, it's going to come back, isn't it? It's going to come back. It's just stay. Ah, it was almost the right shot. If anything, it just checked a little bit on the uh, on the rise. Um, and didn't skid forward, which is what I expected it to do. Anyway, this is stroke six, by the way, so I am still getting a shot, um, but this is, a, this is a nasty pin they've stuck here, right at the backside of the green. So again, we've got this for the win. Or well, two for the half. Firm. Oh, I had it as well, you know. I literally had it, it just needed hitting, and I said firm again, but still not firm enough. Well, that's a half. But as we all know, with the new rules of man versus golf, it really means nothing at this stage because it all goes down to the last. Right, so we're going to finish things off on hole number 10 just in case we get an absolute downpour again so right now i'm one up but don't forget this counts as three points so it's down to the wire this is 328 off the yellers stroke index 17 so i get no shot it looks fairly straightforward but i still feel like i've got to play driver at 328 to leave a realistic iron in do you know what i was here we walked this course yesterday afternoon when we arrived late on and uh, if you just have a look at the drone footage those uh kilsyth hills i think as they're known as kilsyth and campsey looked absolutely uh well glorious compared to what you're seeing today so the sun does shine in glasgow honestly Right, so like I said, quite tight. I'm still going to be aiming at the cart path tracks that you can see. Um, and again, hoping that I manage to cut a ball, which doesn't seem to be happening this morning. And again, there's a, there's a ravine that I've, uh, I can see. I can see some yellow stakes. Unfortunately, I don't know quite that, what that distance is. So I'm going to hit driver and uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I just cannot seem to hit a cut this morning, which is my shot. That's just stayed straight at the tracks. I think we're okay. My only other concern is, did we clear that ravine? Three points up for grabs, and I'm not sure I'm in play. Now, before we get there, that could be a ball, because that's where we're going, and uh, I can't see anything else, but that, to me, could be a golf ball. I'm holding my breath. 
you know what? If I have, uh, how I've stayed above ground, there's a brook there, there's a brook there. And I swear to God, that is a uh, triple track Callaway. My name's Sullivan, I've got the look of the Irish. Right, you've got 129. I mean, the irony is, it's actually, it's even sat up. The fact that we could see it from back there, um, but it's also heavy. So the likelihood is, uh, whether or not, if I don't get it clean, the club is going to probably go underneath the ball. The question is, I'm on no shot, so I really need to put this on the green. Um, yeah. Right, I'm just trying to work out with the new rules of man versus golf, and I, effectively, if I halve this, um, I would actually still win, wouldn't I? Because I'm one shot, I've won one hole. Um, I thought I had a route to the green and I don't. So this is gonna be, it's gonna be a chip out. I'm gonna have to try and make up and down to halve it. The look of the Irish just ran out. Well, that's well out. I'm right in the middle of the fairway, but uh, we're gonna need to make up and down. Ah, it could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Well, to be honest with you, I did well there, you know. Um, I'm on relatively firm ground, but don't forget, I've got to get this up and down. I don't like the new rules of man versus golf. Well, I might do in a minute. Come on, chipper, do your thing. Keep skidding up, keep going up, keep going up. It's good, but not good enough. Ah, oh, I've got to make one there. You know what, poor old Westerwood, I mean, that hole is just full of water. Um, the greens have been a real notable feature of the golf course. There's so many undulations in them. This is a Seve Ballesteros and Dave Thomas design, and the greens are, I would imagine, in the summer months, a real key feature and even then that was not a bad shot but just sort of killed it coming up that rise anyway we sort of gonna have to give this a bit of a hoof because i've got a feeling when it gets near the hole it's just going to draw to an absolute standstill so this is it really the return of man versus golf hole challenge comes down to this putt i hole it and i win i miss and i lose he loses ah do you know what, the putt had the right kind of pace, but I didn't read it going off to the right hand side. So, Westerwood, you got me. Man versus golf hole challenge is a loss with that bogey five. Wow, I told you it was full of water. Okay, so that was the first of what is three challenges set by Q Hotels. Don't forget this was Westerwood Golf and Spa Resort just outside of Glasgow. I'm about to jump in the car. We change venue, I'm off to Slaley Hall next where two courses await, that's two challenges, and hopefully I can get back to winning ways. See you all soon.